There are a couple of bills under consideration in the Texas Capitol right now that would ban local governments from using tax dollars to hire lobbyists. This morning we are opening the books on how the city of Austin is using your taxpayer money to lobby. CEO and founder Adam Angieski joins us now. Good morning, Adam. Good Adam, morning, Allison. What did Open the Books learn about the city of Austin's lobbying efforts? So right there uh, in the city, you've got every single year between $400,000 and $850,000 that flows into the pockets of lobbyists, that the city hires lobbyists, five local lobby firms, to lobby the state legislature. Obviously, there's only 181 members of the Texas state legislature with the House of Representatives and the Senate. So on average, the city is spending $5,000 per member per year to lobby them on their agenda. So Adam, what does the data from the Texas Ethics Commission show about local government spending on lobbying? Well, it's a tremendous amount of money every single year. So the Texas Public Policy Foundation, they crunched the numbers and here's what they found. In 2017, there was about $41 million at the local level that cities, counties, school districts that was spent on lobbying the state legislature right there in Austin. That number by 2020 had risen to a stunning 75 million. Now, 75 million dollars in today doesn't sound like a lot of money. You crunch those numbers, that's 400,000 per member of the state legislature. Again, there's only 181 members of the state legislature. So it's a lot of money being spent. Right now, the legislature is actually considering a ban. It passed the Senate, and that legislation right now sits in the House. Can you give us some examples of the city's local lobbying efforts? Yeah, the most interesting one to me was actually the priorities for 2023 that the city laid out. There's 102 priorities. The most interesting one is they're actually spending city taxpayer money to lobby against this bill that would ban taxpayer funded lobbying. And then you've got other priorities. The number one priority of the city of Austin is actually Austin Energy. No surprise. They, they want the ability, first and foremost, to be able to set rates. Uh, after the ice storm, I think this has to be a major question. Uh, another priority of the Austin uh, City Council in terms of lobbying the state legislature is on property taxes. They want the, the state to, be, to levy no caps. They want unfettered access to hike your property taxes. And also they want unfettered access to control and manage their own lucrative city pension plans, which are underwater. It makes Austin a sinkhole state because they've overpromised the benefits to city retirees. Adam, let's talk about that last one on the list. Can you break down the equity lobbying? So equity, I mean, this is an interesting concept, right? Because equity is the opposite of what Martin Luther King Jr. used to say. You know, the famous line about, you know, the content of your character, not the color of your skin. And equity is the opposite of that. It's also the opposite of merit. And the city has a long list of equity priorities to lobby the state legislature. And look, the reform here is very simple. If you take away the city's ability to spend your money on a lobbyist, then city employees like Jackie Sargent, who makes 420000 over at Austin Energy, she's just got to get over to the state capitol and make her case. That would save city of Austin taxpayers up to $850,000, money that can be used on real city priorities like the homeless crisis or like hiring extra police officers to maintain simple order on city streets. And Adam, you mentioned simple reform. Can you expand on easy reform here in this situation? So the city right now, we identify the city employs 173 PR professionals. These are people that are supposed to provide information to the public. You know, the city spends on their payroll every single year $13 million a year. So why is the city hi hiring outside uh, lobbyists to make their case right down at the state legislature? You got plenty of money with trained PR professionals to go make the city case to the state legislature and save taxpayer money. All right, a lot of information there. Adam, thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. Thank you.